Good afternoon, YouTube family. Uh, seems like I'm picking up this camera every day because I forget to do things and I buy it. And then I remember, oh, I need to let people know what I'm doing. So down the road, uh, people can tell me, well, you did this. You need to change it just in case something goes wrong. Or if everything goes right, then, you know, I can help some other guys out there. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the supplements that I've uh, picked up at my local fish store. Um, I asked them what they dosed their tanks because their tanks were like, it was just beautiful. Um, I want to get into a few SPS curls, not a dominated SPS tank. But, you know, the way my tank is set up, I like a lot more fish. and But I like to have some FP, SPS and I need to do my corals. I need to make sure my corals are, are doing okay. So, what we have here, and you guys know I started dosing um, Kalkwasser as well in my auto top-off. So it's not something that, you know, happens every single day. But I think I don't use, uh, I use a little bit just to, you know, to help raise it slowly. This guy here is the the first one we got, uh, Refusion 1. Uh, it's a two-part system. It maintains, this one maintains uh, calcium and alkalinity levels uh, made by, who else? C-Ken. Anyway, uh, this guy is basically... They say it's the foundation for a system formulated to provide the essential for the reef aquarium. This one provides calcium, while the Reef Fusion 2 uh, raises carbonates and alkalinity. Uh, provides not only 100,000 milligrams of Ionic calcium, I'm reading this off of Amazon, but also includes biologically appropriate levels of magnesium, strontium, boron, iron, magnese, magnanese, and whatever else these guys are saying it is. Um, you dose every one to two days. Uh, for my tank, it's uh, four capfuls. Four capfuls of this and four capfuls of this guy. And we'll take those back and we'll bring out this guy. And these are actually made by a company called Aqua Vitro. Aqua Vitro for reefs. I gotta get me another camera. This doesn't really uh, focus when you get too close. This raises magnesium, uh, fully dissolved, maintains strontium and boron, kind of like the other one, and contains no ammonia. Uh, this one basically is like calcium and strontium. Magnesium is used in the calcification of skeletons of reef organisms. Organisms can't speak. Uh, and since I'm going to start, I've got some LPS in there. I'm going to start getting some small SPS. To and I want to make sure that everything is set up correctly for this. I know I have the right amount of lighting, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but that's that. The next one is the fuel. Uh, this guy actually has to be, you know, says to actually refrigerate after opening. According to this one, it ignites coral growth, carbohydrate, vitamin, fat, fatty acid, and an amino acid supplement for corals. Uh, makes trace elements supplement unnecessary. Uh, according to their website, it's a comprehensive carbohydrate, vitamin, amino acid and polysaturated, polyunsaturated fatty acid and trace element supplement developed to address nutritional requirements commonly associated with corals. 
Uh, fuel contains ascorbic acid in the base. Whatever all that stuff means. You guys can look their website up. Um, Aqua Vitro. And I think this a well is uh, four of the capfuls, but it's kind of the inner cap. There's, it's not this big cap, but there's another one on the inside. Let's see if I can get to it for you guys. But it's just that inside one. We we'll put four of those in uh, every other day, and we'll see. We'll see how our levels are looking. And that's that's what I'm doing for now. Get my calcium up. Get all the other stuff going. So that's what's that's what's happening. Any of you guys out there ever use these products? Uh, let me know what you think. But I will, I will check these out and actually, <clears throat> excuse me, let you know how these things work. Well, you guys will see as the tank progresses. So far, it's doing okay. Uh, since I put the macro algae in there the other day, I noticed that one of my frog spawn is not opening as much as it used to. But then again, I actually just did a 15 gallon water change on here. So that might be that might be the issue as well. And my metal headlights just came on. So we'll see what's going on as the days progress. Probably next week I'll keep an eye on it. But that's my bad boy right there. Check that out. Soon I'll get some more fish in there. Alright guys, I've got work to do. Talk to you later. Bye.